We are not here for a good time. No. We are here for a long while. Yes. And we shall fan the flames until the picture frame speaks of generations saved and destinies stained. Tamed. We are the spark that will save the day and make the night bearable for all to say Africa is alive and changed. Two years ago, we purposed and concluded that strategic purchasing is the direction. Yes. After all, decisions we make determines who lives and who dies, who has relief and who is in pain. Decisions we make determines which will hold true, life or death, pain or relief. Two years and a pandemic later, truer words could not have been spoken. I mean, who knew? Who knew? Who knew? I will tell you, we did. We knew the importance of prioritizing primary health care. Yes, we knew the uncertainty of life required us to take the path, to take the arduous but necessary journey of universal, universal health, health coverage. coverage. COVID-19 was, was just the villain that we didn't expect, but we anticipated the need to prepare for one. For though government involvement has increased, naturally, primary health has declined because many of us were caught on the back foot. Malaria, cancer, and other very <laughs> notorious culprits are not sitting on the bench because of substitution, no. They are alive and well in the playing field waiting for their chance to undo our goals. Furthermore, the systems haven't changed that much, therefore the outcomes might be the same. same. Moreover, the resources are limited, therefore the calculations needed still face a cruel fate. Fate. But I am not here as a bearer of bad news. In fact, I'm a messenger of hope. Because it has been two years, but we have seen the overwhelming response to the cause we are here for. Because we understand that it is time to stop planning for the people on the seats we sit on today. Tell them. Yes, and it's time to plan for those who will sit on them tomorrow. If not to, uh, if not to afford them the luxury of new problems other than the typical, let us at least give them the right momentum that will take us to the next level. When we set out to spark the change, we not only knew that this vision was practical, but we all, as sons and daughters of this continent, embraced the charge as personal. It is with this that we have seen the beginning of a new movement across Africa. A new movement across Africa. A movement of individuals in stakeholder groups across sub-Saharan Africa who have begun and are continuing to understand, to talk about and advocate for the better use of limited resources for universal health care. It is with this that we are here to give a second win to this movement, to be louder, to be braver, to be more audacious. Aye. We're not here for a good time, no. We're here for a long while. Yes. And we shall find the flames until the picture frame speaks of generations saved and destiny is tamed. Tamed. Yeah. We are the spark that will save the day and make the nights bearable for all to say Africa, Africa is alive and changed. That is why we're here to change the conversation. <laughs> Indulge me if you will. Do we really need to hear the statistics again? Not like really. Do we? Mm, no. So what do we want to hear? What, what music do you want the Kora to play? You know, what do you want the winds of Sahara to sing? What tune do you want the Nyatiti to muse on? What progression do you want the African people to dance to? Yeah, you and I are tired of sad statistics. So what do we want the statistics to be? Change the conversation. No. It is not about how much money you spend on samosas in the streets of Nairobi. It is how much samosa you can get for the money you have. Mm. Mm. It is not how much money you can spend on a night out in Lagos. It is the quality of time you will get for the money you have. Mm. It is not about the money you spend on a meal in Ethiopia. It's the amount of flavor and presentation you'll get for the money you have. Mm. This base is how we're going to get the best out of everything that we already have. And then every other addition will fall into place into a foolproof system of quality control. Change the conversation. Our main concern is not, it's not, it's not, schemes or programs. It is decision making on what to buy, who to buy from, and how to pay. Our main headache is not more money for health. 
although we could always use more, yeah? it is efficiency in our systems. Our main aim is not to, is not to point out mistakes, it's to always be aware of the stakes. Our main objective is not to condemn, but to redeem the narrative. Our main reason to be here is not to mark out a key performance index. Instead, it is to change the indices of our trajectory. This means we're here to build our community, not just for us, but for the generations to come. Meaning we are well aware that we might not see the fruits of our labor, but we're also present to the fact that if we do not act now, the scene will not evolve and a story will not resolve to move forward. We are not here for a good time. No. We are here for a long while. And we shall find the flames until the picture frame speaks of generations saved and destiny stained. We are not here for a good Time. No, we are here for a long while, and we shall find the flames until the picture frame speaks of generation saved and destinies tamed. We are the spark that will save the day and make the nights bearable for all to say Africa is alive and changed. We are the first line of defense. The future comes with possibilities, and we let the economists focus that. But we, as a first line of defense, know it too comes with the certainty of failure if health is jeopardized. We who see the potential of no strategy, we who see the promise, the promise of tragedy if we continue with business as usual, we who see the assurance of regret if we do not steer their attention away from the mistakes of the past. We, as the stakeholders in this moment in history, we can control each element of life, but we can at least build a support system that is tailor-made for it, tailor-made for Africa. That is why we here at Spark start by coaching and mentoring a group of experts across the continent then we engage to establish a connection with the different countries to, to build a lasting platform where we, where we exchange implementation stories and learn from one another. We have seen a 500% growth in the force membership community. We are here to ask for 500% more, 1,000% more, 10,000% ah, more. Africans working for Africa. Our coaching stories can be heard in Burkina Faso, in Rwanda, in DRC, Nigeria, South Africa, and Kenya, working side by side with country partners and leaving behind sustainable change. These are the stats that we want to see and hear. Today, let us be the light throughout the tunnel, for vision requires no less. Let us be the light throughout the tunnel for vision requires no less. I place the lives of all the sons and daughters of this continent in your hands. Don't stress, there is a plan, there is a strategy. And while there will be a cost to it, in the end, we will say because of the decisions we made, we are blessed. Because we are not here for a good time. We're here for a long while. And we shall find the flames until the picture frame speaks of generations saved and destiny stayed. We are the spark. Shall save the day and the night for all to say. We are the spark that will save the day and the night all to say a free a free a free a free a free africa free a free a free a free a free africa free a free a free a free a free africa a free a free a free a free a free africa free a free a free a free a free africa free a free a free a free a free africa 
free, a free, a free, a free, a free Africa, free, a free Africa, free, a free Africa, free, a free Africa, free, a free Africa. Free, 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 We are the spark that will save the day and the night for all to say Africa's crown has been reclaimed.